Welcome back to Iterates. This is week 107, day 4. Let's take a look at our defenses, and of course we get another failure and another full 30 points, which means we have lost all 90 points that we can lose. Let's take a look. We got an air, uh, just four flowers, temari refined for rest, reposition, and phantom rest one. Peony with new moon and attack tactics three. Uh, Bridal Micaiah, Mumbo, even attack wave two. Okay, like this seals. And then we have plus 10 plus a Bronia. Uh, reposition soul, close counter advantage, rest smoke, attack defense solo. And finally we have a Kaden. Swap Mumbo, defiant attack three, okay. Speed wrestling, odd and even defense flip. So there are some really weird builds. But it's a domination play because, um, dominance play, I mean, you have Micaiah, and then you have Bronia, which loves, well, not loves, but she doesn't really care about the boss because she neutralizes them and then gets plus four to all stats. So, all right, swap. And you could say that they gamble a trap, but it's not really because. They didn't attack anything other than the uh, the pot. So it's fortunate for that harsh command, as always, you know, panic manner. So otherwise, Bronia would have probably outsped that. I mean, Bernadetta would probably outsped Bronia. Not that it matter. Well, no, actually it wouldn't matter because she would have done less damage because she would have been hit by dominance. Like, getting through a Lilina with triangle of death with dominance. Yeah. And of course, Sotis has hardly bearing, but... I will face my fate. It really doesn't matter when she does what? 100 damage. Now what they say, like dominance ahead of a drug, so... No dominance anymore, which is why Kuriri is able to survive despite being already on it. Unfortunately, you know, Bronia neutralizes penalties, so there's never gonna be a way for Huri to double her. And they're both following Peony, I believe. So I won't give in. So Eldegan, he can take one hit, but not a second hit. And then there's Yuna, the only one that can actually survive a hit against this bunny. And like, Burn, if you see time. why she says like she has like plus 18 attack, plus 12 defense, it's basically because uh, she has minus 8 to all stats, so when neutralizes them, it's basically like getting plus 8. And then her weapon gives her plus 4, so that's where that 12 comes in. And then the 18 comes from her attack defense solo. So, she's not actually getting that many stats, but... Although they do, they have this really cool Marissa. They did not waste all of her on infantry pulses. So, uh, yeah, I applaud you on that. They went with a DC repel uh, set. This might be fun to take on at the end of the week. Although, you know, if Marissa is there, it's obviously an infantry pulse team. And we don't really have a way to pulse down things on Lysis and so... 
That might be bad. Do a quick check of the seals, mostly the seals. I mean, I don't change their skills, so. And Leon, which actually did so play this week. All right, what do we got? Ophelia with no Sisla. Okay, so it's a, it's one of these teams, freaking Elliwoods, Brahmimons, and Crumbs. So all the horrible things. So Crom, Mumbo, attack plus three. There's the aforementioned Ophelia. Azura with no weapon, no special. And I guess she's trying to get her defense somewhere, but it's just not gonna work with a defense of one. I mean, you're a minus defense. What are you trying to do? Hell, because, well, hell. Launch Roy, because of course it's gonna be a Launch Roy. When will it not be a Launch Roy? And there, Asimon. Brahmimon, Annoimon, call him what you want, it's all the same. Um, he does stop all of the follow-ups, but except he has no chance against Chrome. Well, there are no hard buffs, so it's going to be difficult to inflict debuffs on this team. That's a 70. Could try to go with Fjorn, put her here, have El Elliwood go over here. That will force him into this spot, because he will attack first. So he'll go 1, 2, 3, attack here. And then he'll be trapped over here because he won't be able to Gale Force. Which leads me here to take on Ophelia, Brahmimon, Hell, and everything else. So if I was going to bring Fjorm, I'll need Lucina. If I don't bring Lucina, then I can bring Mila. Mila to shut down the Azura or shut down the Ophelia. Although if I shut down the Ophelia, this only this to get panic. This hell is gonna be a pain in the ass to get rid of with Fjorm. And I have to get rid of that panic manner because I don't hit 70 HP. 51 plus 15 is 66. No. There is Wings of Mercy, but all she can do is Wings of Mercy here. Yeah. There's no Grand Orders place. So let's see. I go over here with Fjorm. Then you go one, two, three, hit her over here. Reposition me over here. And you get trapped over here. I could put someone over here to make sure that Azura doesn't fly over. Although I am going to be blocking up Azura, so that's not necessary then if I'm bringing Mila. All right, so let's go with that. Hell is going to be a pain, but at least there's no infantry poles for that Brahmimon to have a instant Mumbo, I mean instant Luna. It will be done. So we take this because we're shutting down Azura, that's the whole point. Orders, please. Then we go over here. Glimmer of life. Understood. 
I was not supposed to get rid of the of that. Yeah, definitely was not supposed to get rid of this. Because I was was preventing what next? him from escaping. So let's get rid of this. Yes. Who is he hitting? Ready. Waiting for orders. Orders, please. Yeah, I think he's Death's curse. Okay, he's hitting air. That's fine. The glimmer of life. So we can take this, because we need to get rid of this. As you say. And then Fjord needs to go over here. 61, 46 is 107. Yes. 55 and 42 is 95 and 4 is 9, 5 and 2 is 7, 97 plus 3 is 100, plus 3 is 103, right? Alright, so we're still good. Good morning. Orders, please. Maybe this way. What next? Get piano. Oh, I forgot to switch his thing from when I put him on my defense team. Okay, that might be bad. Crumb. And I forgot to move Miller. No gale force for you, like I said. Ramimon. Uh, Alright. Okay, good. You're still trapped, which is a good thing. Yes. We can take out Elliewood. Yes. Chrome. Ready. And Hell. In one fell swoop. Well, you can take her out too. Alright, so yes, let's get rid of you first. Yeah. As long as we stay out of Ophelia's, Ophelia's range, we'll be fine. Seven. I think I should be fine. Fjorm should be fine. Good morning. Yes. Take you out. Ready. And then take you out. And then I guess we can blessing. move you over here. Waiting for orders. Oh yeah, we're fine. <sighs> and give me back my HP. And we're good. We are good. And we got turns to spare. Like so. this. That's it. Ha! And there you go. That's how you deal with maps like this. You give me a defense style, I'm going to take advantage of the defense style.
you can launch me all you want, but if you're just launching me from one defense style to another, then you're not doing much. All right. Let's take a look how everybody else is doing, which people should pull off ahead of me since I lost so many points already. So Gaps in first place, followed by Itsuki, then Kako, ECLA, Rekador, which probably hasn't played today because his score is really close to mine. And then there's Dark Luster and Matt, Ukisu, New Better, Lamras, Sushi. Well, New Better is Ghosting. Uh, Sushi, Kitsune, Neo Swordsman. Neo Swordsman, what are you doing so far down? Diego and Luis, Luis, Luis. All right. Is there anything to summon today? Well, yeah, this should be, is the Mythic Banner. So, yeah, the double Mythic Banner is up. I will not be summoning on it yet. <clears throat> it does last 11 days, so it's a pretty long banner. Uh, sniping green, if you want a Mythic, is like the best option for you. Like triple mythics on green it's all free play uh for red brave light Cynthia and ellawood if you don't have either one of them like one copy suffices and sothis i already have a plus 10 so any sothis that i get from here on is just gonna be time spoils fodder unfortunately like I already passed Angel, so there's little nothing I can do with her. I guess attack speed solo if I want to pass attack speed solo 4 someday. But. Tiki. Azura and Apocatary Ana. I mean, Apotheosis Ana. They're pretty good units, all three of them. And of course, Colorless is really good. Corrin, I would like another Corrin to fix my uh, Bane. Leaf is never a bad thing to have at least one leaf. And Shinon, which is a really good unit. And of course, it comes with Dead Eye. The only unit so far to have Dead Eye, so it's not a bad banner, uh, especially with, like green. Green is very stacked with triple mythics, two of them being dark at that, so. If you're missing a dark mythic or a light mythic, then there's no better time to pull. I don't think we'll, we have ever seen triple mythics in one banner. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. So uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.